this is our coffee corner. And unlike today, it's usually a hot mess. But behind it, there's a perfectly nice wall just sitting there, standing there. Sitting there, standing there. Does a wall sit or does a wall stand? Well, anyhow. Behind it is a perfectly nice wall doing nothing. Well, except holding the house up. But I would like to change that. Well, not the uh, holding up the house part, but I would like to utilize the space. And I'll start by putting the coffee capsules up there. And to do that, we need to go and get some materials. Now, before we get into the build, we have to talk about materials. These ones are coming from an IKEA diaper changing station, Snigler, or Sniglar, which is IKEA's most cheapest option, which also means the resale value is next to nothing. People are actually giving these away on different online marketplaces, just to don't have to go through the hassle of throwing them away. But what people don't seem to realize, they're actually made of decent hardwood, beech, which is really nice for small projects like this. And I got five of these bad boys within a half hour radius of our house. And the nice thing is, people keep making babies, which means people buy new ones and then I get them for free. It's the circle of life or circle of woodworking, to be more precise. Since I don't have a jointer or a thicknesser, I need to resaw all the parts into two halves for cutting the grooves and then gluing them back together. Now what I realized is that the outer surface is a much better surface for glue up. So I ended up cutting the grooves on the outsides and then gluing them together. I still need to cut the entire thing open to reveal the track at the later stage and this way just generates a bit more sanding but I can live with that. And as you can see I'm getting more confident around the CNC router now working on it whilst it is running. I'm confident that's gonna bite my ass somewhere down the line, but it hasn't yet. So knock on wood. Just lean back and enjoy the sight of a machine doing our work. And while the CNC router knocks out parts, I remove the excess wood and to do that I'm using a Japanese pull saw, which does the work beautifully. Then there's some light sanding on the mating surfaces before glue up.
And while I'm doing the voiceover, I realized that this clip of me sanding is way too long. But I couldn't be bothered to do anything about it. Because I am lazy. See? Still sanding away like a crazy person. And there, hammering the delicate part in the table to get rid of some dust. Instead of using the air compressor. Then wait. Finally, it's time for the glue up. Now, the most important thing here is not to use too much glue. You don't want any squeeze out in the groove where the capsules are gonna slide. And since you're applying a thin layer, it also dries quickly. So I'm, I'm just gluing up two capsule holders at a time and then I'm putting them in clamps before I do the second two. And then when I've finished all of them, I'm gonna put them in clamps together and leave them overnight. Not that they need to dry overnight, but I really need to go to bed. Because the kiddo's gonna be up at 6. And so am I. And as with the sanding part, the glue up part is also way too long. That's why I sped up the video. Did you notice? Of course you didn't. You were just oogling at that magnificent red beard, weren't you? I know. I know. Not to toot my own horn, but I really like this table. It's just a prototype, but some of the functionalities I'm really pleased with. Like this, where I can clamp things all the way around. Doesn't matter where you're standing, there's always a clamping surface somewhere. And then, finally, another day in time to remove the clamps. Just as pleasing as removing hiking boots after a long day in the mountains. You know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this is dodgy as fuck. This is where you're gonna lose your fingers. You're trying to push thin material through a bandsaw that really only wants to throw it at you. So what you see me doing here is I'm just cutting a small groove at the end just to see that the saw blade is true and then I go back and cut the rest. I use a 2x4 to support the material sideways and I push it very gently with my fingers until I'm not comfortable anymore and then I'm using the red push stick. 
still, a thicknesser is on my wish list. Let's just hope I get it before I lose any fingers. And here you can see now the groove is revealed and you actually have an espresso capsule holder. As you can see they still have some light burn marks so I need to go over them with sandpaper but as far as construction go these are now finished. You might ask yourself why didn't you use the belt sander at the previous sanding operations. And you'd be perfectly right. The excuse is it's still not hooked up to the dust collection system. Which leads to a lot of sawdust. So I'm just using it for the round over and yeah I need to get to the dust collection system sooner than later. Now, those of you who like, <laughs> like me, those of you who know me, know that I'm very fond of tape. Tape is a beautiful invention, and you can use it to basically fix anything. Here on the other hand, I might have gone a bit overboard. Since this tape holds like 4 kilograms per centimeter, and I'm putting on 4 strips per capsule holder. Now I did that because I didn't pay much attention to sanding the back sides as they're going up against the wall and I thought I needed a smoother gluing surface. But in hindsight I'm realizing these ones are never coming off without taking some paint with them. So once they're up, they stay up. I'm really pleased with the fact that our countertop is perfectly level, as it was my wife and I who installed it. So the level here is basically just a spacer between the garbage can for the old capsules and the capsule holders going up on the wall. And I decided for the width of a capsule holder between the holders on the wall, which I think looks the nicest. There you have it, four capsule holders up on the wall, looking good. So now it's just to drink copious amounts of coffee and watch YouTube videos while sitting on the toilet, cause coffee. <laughs>